started in the 70s. The, the main idea came from reading a book by Raymond Roussel, uh, very, very curious write, French writer from the beginning of uh, the 20th century. And he, in his uh, novels, he describes several installations. Among those installations, at least 15 uh, uh, sound installations Installation, sound, sound inventions. The description that uh, started me was uh, was about a, a thermodynamic orchestra, and the thermodynamic orchestra is described as an orchestra that comes on a little uh, car. It's settled inside of a, a glass cage. And inside, there is an invention that allows to change the temperature very rapidly, from cold, very cold, to very hot in a few instants. So, uh, uh, and then the music changes according to the temperature. The fact that of having a, an orchestra in a small in a, contain, in a small container and uh, able to change according to something, not especially the temperature. The music changes according to the speed of the motor, etc. Uh, so that impressed me and started me uh, uh, building something. Sound-wise, I brought uh, a main machine, mechano machine, that plays, uh, and I can sort of DJ on that machine. So there are three motors, and at the end of the, the motors, I can change the last module. And by changing the module, I get different noises, tones, and rhythms. And sometimes also uh, harmony. <laughs> The, the need of an orchestra. When you are a young musician, 20 years old, uh, you make, you have some groups. With, with a group, you, you play a collective music. Uh, you are not the only one deciding. It's not that I want to decide everything, but still, you cannot express yourself totally. You play a, a collective music decided by all the members of, of the band. As a young musician, they don't give you a swing quartet, they don't give you uh, just to, to try uh, for some experiences. Uh, building little robots was a way to have that uh, at home, available any time of the day of the night, just to play m my own music and composing, instead of composing with a, a pen and a sheet of paper, I, was, I am composing with a screwdriver, with a soldering iron, and I put my music into metal, into wood, into skin, uh, leather, skins, etc. Every artist has his uh, specificity, and mine was probably that uh, I made those machines out of Mechano, which is a construction game for children. And the Mechano gave uh, a special aspect, a very transparent aspect to the, to the sound sculptures. Well, every robot plays its part. If, if everything goes well, if I don't have any technical problem. And I play along with those machines and I play a prepared trumpet, nail violin, which is an instrument that was abandoned, an, uh, an instrument from the 17th century, uh, sort of violin, but instead of strings, you have some nails or pieces of metal, and you bow those pieces of metal. And I bring also an Afri African harp, beautiful instrument from uh, Congo, Burundi, uh, that part of Africa. I'm 
also not not a collector of music of in music instruments, but uh, I own like 300 music instruments from all over the world, and I like those sounds from the planet, uh, acoustic sounds. And then those 300 instruments, they form a bit like uh, my my um, material to to compose music. Like uh, so some musicians are uh, go to to a shop and buy a synthesizers and out of the synthesizers they get 300 or maybe more different sounds but I have more feelings with uh, uh, African instruments instruments from Asia, Australia from the traditions of, of the world For me, a, a nice collaboration will, is always a collaboration when the participants don't interfere in, in the other participants' work. Freedom is the, the key word for me. Then I would add another, another key word. It's freedom confidence and, um, and chance. We have to count on some chance. <laughs> 